Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in and joining me. Today we are going to be doing some inspirational jewelry. And the best part about it is you can make this from stuff you already have at home. So grab things that are around your house or head down to the craft store. I have just taken some rings here. This is a jump ring opener. Uh, these are beads, little charms that are inspirational. This is leather lace or um, pleather lace, a little bit of wire. I'm using 24 gauge here and then You'll need just your little tools, anything you would do to make jewelry. So you need your pliers, your wire cutters, and then I went a little bit further and I grabbed scraps of leather because I'm gonna make them look like little feathers. Today, I'm actually gonna focus on something that is so near and dear to my heart. Um, this necklace, which I absolutely love, this is given to me by my great grandmother. My great grandpa was Native American, so I absolutely cherish this, but I end up not wearing it because it's a little chunky. So I am going to take this piece that means so much to me and turn it into something that I will actually wear. And if you don't have something like that, do you have a pile like this somewhere in your house where you absolutely love the stuff, but good luck getting it untangled? You can use some of that, just cut some of it out. Any kind of stuff like that will absolutely work for this. But you wanna know what the intention is behind it. So Native Americans loved turquoise. This means basically protection. It actually means a lot of things. You can see why the Native Americans loved it. Any color that you have at home will mean something to you. And this can be your inspiration to wear around the house or going out. So use things that inspire you. And you can see what I did over here. This one has a little guitar for my husband. He's a musician. It's a little bit more masculine. This one has peace. This one has different colors. I've got an angel wing down there at the end with a little key. So it can remind you of someone who's passed. Again, just use anything that inspires you. I'm going to add some little leather. So I'm just gonna cut a little bit of this leather piece off. And this is going to be the base for our necklace. Now to make the bottom layer, which are the feathers, uh, you can draw them, you can hand draw them, or you can do what I did, nice little cheat from the internet. Search for feather template and just print it out like this. And then you just cut this out. This becomes your template, really easy to do. So I've done that here. You can see I've cut out a little feather that I wanna use. I went ahead and outlined it with a pen. And then all you do is cut that out and that is gonna be the bottom part of our necklace. Now this is a pattern I love, but I'm also going to put dark underneath, just like that. So I'm going to draw around it and then cut it out. Because I want this to look like a feather, we're gonna add little tiny cuts all the way around the edges. So just cut and then I'll give it a nice feathery look. For this to be able to hang, we're gonna have to put a little hole in this. Now you could take some scissors and make a hole, or if you've got a leather punch, this will be the easiest to use. A nice little hole in there. We also need one on the back piece. So take your leather punch, put a little hole there. Now, so that is going to be the bottom layer. You just need a tiny little hole because we're gonna be putting a jump ring through that. Now is the fun part. Now what inspires you? This necklace certainly inspires me, um, but I need to take it apart first so that I can use these beautiful beads. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is wanna get a wire cutter. There we go. So I'm gonna use this entire thing as part of my new necklace. All right, so I've tied a little knot here and I'm just gonna cut off the excess with my wire cutters. So I'm gonna hang it all like this. I'm gonna tie it together with a jump ring. Okay, you can see I tied it all together with a jump ring. Everything is hanging there, but I'm just gonna now make the necklace part of this. I'm gonna pick my dark color. And the way you find how long you would like it, try it on yourself and see where you want it to land. And then you do need to have a little extra for the knot at the top. Cut that. Fold the leather in half and feed it through. And that is gonna become our knot. So you want a nice little hole there. Then you take your two ends, feed them through. One, two, and then pull it tight. And then you tie the back. Take it, feed it through here. Make sure you have a really tight knot. Cut off the excess. All right, and there you have it. A wonderful little necklace that can inspire you or inspire somebody else if you're giving it as a gift. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys are staying safe, happy, and healthy. Take care.